everybody, DJ No Hat here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fobs and Nose, babe. It's Dick Fobs and Today we got 83 mods on the testing list, and we've got eight modders to talk about, including an American Windrow. Ooh, let's check it out. Starting off today with the testing list, we've got a total of 83 mods on the list today, up from 78 that we had yesterday. Of those mods, 78 are for PC and Stage 1, and five are for console, aka Stage 2. Some notable mods in Stage 1 today are the three-point trailer hitch, Case IH 821G and the Demco 42 foot liquid tender trailer. Also, in testing today, we have the Hayloft Extended, JCB Fast Track Pack, and the John Deere 5060 STS series still in testing. Rounding out the PC list today, we have the modular BGP New Holland Pack, Scania P310, DLX X52 Logger, and the Volunteer Fire Department. Maps in stage one of testing today include Lapacho Farm, Rinnaboo, Timber Valley, in Westbridge Hills 22. Mods and testing for consoles today are a little bit easier to read all of them out, so we've got the Beehives Pack, the Fiat 1300 DT Rebuild, Garage with Service, Hotel BR, and the Lizard P310, which is an unbranded version of the Scania truck and PC testing. With all that being said, we still have 140 mods sitting waiting to be tested, which is down from 161 yesterday, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is also down to two work days from five yesterday. Making our way into today's modern news, we start with something awesome. The update to Stone Valley 22 is currently pending release at the time of recording this video and will likely be out a few hours after this video goes live. We don't have the official changelog yet, but we do know that there will be several fixes and improvements to the map, along with Alfalfa and Clover, as well as many other things and changes that you may have seen in my Let's Play series, as I've been playing a version of this update for the past few weeks. Big thank you to Lance boy for that opportunity by the way heads up ahead of time you will need a new game save to get all of the changes and improvements that are coming with this update and at least for my series and i'm gonna have to update as well so if you guys are on pc and you haven't changed up the map around too much you should be able to convert your old save without much trouble however console players will need to start a new game save and will have to do everything manually to just be ready for that no matter what platform you play on the update will be here today 82 studio has some more screenshots of his tlx 3500 crew cab version for us today shown here with different truck pads giving you an idea of not only the scale of the truck and how the four doors are going to work but also showing you that you'll still be able to use all of your favorite beds just in the four-door version that's great now 82 studio hasn't come out and said at least publicly if he's going to be doing seating for four people with the addition of the Kubota dlc but that sounds like something that he will likely explore if he hasn't already more work has been done every day to this mod and he's going to be going live tomorrow so check out that to see the latest on this truck and its other projects bc beulah farms is back with us today with an updated in-game screenshot of his windrow and well we've got a bunch of screenshots actually Actually, we even get to see some of the brands that are going to be included with this, such as Heston, Case IH, Massey Ferguson Heston, and Challenger, at least from what we can see from the screenshots today. He also said that the disc buying header is in-game and working with the mods too. Tell you what, all facts and information aside, how cool are these things? I know there's a lot of you out there, myself included, that have been waiting for some non-green and yellow windrows for a while, and I'm super pumped to see these. BC Bueller, you are making a lot of people very happy right now. I'm ready to use these in the game. Let's go. Okay, personal excitement over. Are you as excited about these as I am? Let me know. AMG Agri's Massey Ferguson 5400 pack update version 1.2 is officially with Giants awaiting testing right now. We talked about the highlights previously, but quick refresher. He's added animated doors, side windows, and rear windows with unique sounds. There's been a complete overhaul of the sounds, including more cabin rattles, and he's fixed the passenger seating with larger models and, well, some other things as well. We just don't know what those other things are yet. We did have a five-day wait on the Mod Hub when this was sent in yesterday, but with today being two, it may be a little while before we see it, and it might be on the list tomorrow. But either way, I'll keep you guys updated on its progress once it's announced. Here's a mod that we haven't talked about in a while, the Lizard T2000 from Hispano Modding. It's been going back and forth with Giants for the past month or so, as most mods do, so that's the now the ordinary there, but it does seem like we're getting closer. The last version that was just sent in late yesterday with fixes to translations means that, well, we should be getting close to seeing its final release. This mod is based off of the Kenworth T2000 and it's for all platforms. You might also remember this mod, which was submitted for the first time back in May, over two months ago, the Flexicool ST820. Yes, Giants did release their version of this last week, but this one has been sitting for a while now. After two months, 
we finally get updated information on it. The mod was sent back to Hispano modding a few days ago with a request to change more things from the original one that was re released on ModHub. Now, I know this mod was sent in two months before Giants released their version on the mod up, so it's tough to change things when you don't know that they're even going to be doing one. I'm sure there's more going on here than we're aware of, so take it for face value, at least for now. Anyway, he's changed up a few things and submitted it back, but if it's not accepted this next time around, he said he's just going to release it on his Facebook for PC players and move on. No matter what happens, I'll let you guys know. Now that the Case IH 7150 Rice version is out, OSFS, the creator, is working on a header to go along with it since it didn't release with any. We're not sure the exact specs right now, but as you can see, it's still in the very early stages of development, but I at least wanted to give you a heads up on something that would be coming later on down the road for it specifically. In OSFS's official post, he says this, platform that will follow the case in the next version with some fixes. Something else interesting that's heading our way is the Planet Biogas Modular BGA. At least that's what I'm gathering from Caster Modding's latest post in this screenshot. They say it was supposed to come in a few weeks, but since he's working on a map right now and that's taking some extra time, this is going to be coming sooner. We know that he's already released the Lizard Energy Modular BGA, but we don't have an officially branded version, at least not yet. So this looks to be that one. The picture doesn't show us anything really at all. It's just a dark moonlit night with a few illuminated areas. It's no, well, there's really nothing here, but we do at least see Planet Modular BGA and coming soon at the bottom, so keep an eye out for it. FSG Modding have sent in their next mod for testing, the Advanced Farm Manager mod. This is a toggleable GUI that's going to allow you to quickly manage your vehicles, implements, builds, and placeables all from one place. There's so much to do from here. Also, heads up, uh, this is PC only. <laughs> there's no way this is coming to console. I'll put a list up for you guys so you can get an idea of just what this mod can do. Basically, you've got jump into, park, sell, clean, repair, repaint, and refuel vehicles, warp near, sell, clean, repair, and repaint implements, similar for placeables, and so much more. I will leave a link to the FSG modding page below for you guys to take a deep dive if this is something that you're interested in. It is just an absolutely insane mod. You guys can find that beside FSG Group. And lastly today, also from FSG Modding, we've got a first look at their map Backroads County via ArgZ Gaming. What up, dude? This is a normal sized map for all platforms, at least when recording this video. It's not on the testing list anymore. However, it has been on the list for the past week. Could it be pending release? it be failed and maybe it's got to be fixed. Just have to wait and see. Just like you probably waited to see what the self-aware segue to the outro would be. I think today I'll go for a more like modern architectural segue. The kind that's got like three contrasting colors and you can't tell if the builders were lazy or genius. Who knows? What I do know is that just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. No release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and some things you need to know about as well going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the news video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Go and Fan. Make sure notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. And with that, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Probably wondering, DJ, where's your hat? It's in the washing machine. It was dirty.